Hello, it is I, IR Smart, and yeah, I'm a little bit fancier today, I got a dress shirt on, that's a special occasion, because I've wanted to do a video about Minecraft for some time now, as it's currently quite popular. I know what Minecraft is, you know what Minecraft is, your weird uncle, who only comes to like one family gathering a year, and you know, he, he knows what Minecraft is, right? You know, everybody knows what Minecraft is. It's basically like a universal term at this point. And if you haven't noticed, it's become really popular right now. You know, so many YouTubers are doing Let's Plays and Reactions and other Minecraft-related videos. It's essentially taken over YouTube. A few months ago, if you were to venture down to the YouTube gaming trending tab, it would be like 90% Fortnite. Uh, but now, in summer of 2019, it's mostly Minecraft. So, what happened? That's what I intend to try and answer in this video. Now, before we dive in, I want to say that this is all my opinions and observations. They might be different from yours, and the timeline isn't exactly as precise as I wanted it to be, but some of the info is kind of hard to date, like, and it's some of it is opinionated, like, you know, just how it is. And I'm sure that some other YouTubers probably have made better videos explaining this topic, but I just wanted to try it myself, and this is my first try at this type of video. So, I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. I think you know the story. Minecraft was originally created by Notch in 2009, and initially released on May 17. From there, it would soon become popularized on YouTube and became the first video game to truly take over the platform. Many channels got their start on Minecraft, and would play the game for the next few years following, gaining millions of subscribers. And this allowed many more people to get exposed to Minecraft, and lead to its massive popularity. The game would then receive many more updates and grow even more. And eventually, in 2014, Notch would sell Minecraft to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. Mojang then became a part of Microsoft, and Minecraft was a Microsoft game. At this point, Minecraft was at its best. The YouTube channels that helped it grow now had millions of subscribers and viewers. Minecraft had millions of monthly players. Minecraft merchandise was being sold in nearly every store. Minecraft basically became a household term. And many wondered how much longer this Minecraft high would last. It's hard to pinpoint exactly when and how Minecraft died, but it's commonly agreed that it was in mid to late 2017. Possibly even earlier, depending on who you ask. Not as much died as the game was still being supported, but just the popularity had sunk to some of the lowest it had ever been. Many YouTubers and players alike just decided to move on to other games. The reasons why are kind of hard to say, but some do stick out, such as many players just getting bored, and, or some just disliking the new updates. 2016 brought the 1.9 Combat update, which to this day is probably still the most controversial update the game ever received. It totally redesigned the combat system in a way that upset many players. They thought this update and many updates following added unnecessary features to the game. And despite this decrease in popularity, some YouTubers and players would still play and enjoy the game, despite it not being as popular. Minecraft was in a time where it was seen as a fad that had come and gone, another video game that got popular and was just moved on from. During this time, admitting to playing Minecraft was seen as strange and the community around the game were seen as childish and looked down upon for playing a game that had passed its peak. If you wanted to keep your dignity, you wouldn't be caught dead wearing a Creeper t-shirt. And however, despite all of these reasons, the game would still prevail. You know, people were still playing the game, even if they were seen as childish. A new interest for the game was already brewing though, and this may have been related to another game that was rapidly gaining popularity in a way that seemed all too familiar. It would be wrong for me to talk about Minecraft's popularity without talking about, you guessed it, Fortnite. Fortnite was originally created as a first-person shooter zombie tower defense game with Origins in 2011. That's quite a mouthful. Uh, however, this version would never be nearly as popular as its free-to-play Battle Royale mode which launched in late 2017. From there, it would grow in popularity and take over Minecraft as the most popular video game on YouTube. 
Many YouTube channels got their start on Fortnite and grow huge in popularity, very similar to how Minecraft channels did. Many did think it was a copy of other games, such as PUBG and H1Z1, which were also battle royales. Fortnite, however, was more cartoonish and child-friendly, appealing to a larger audience. I'm sure you already know this, as it was quite popular. And you, yes you watching, probably played it yourself. Eventually, Fortnite was at a point where you either loved it or you hated it. Or, I mean, you probably could just not care. But many pointed out the similarities between Fortnite's popularity and Minecraft's popularity. Both had generally young audiences that seemed to be addicted to the game. You know, they would constantly talk about the game and buy its merchandise. And, you know, all the things that, you know, kids do when they're addicted to a video game. Many of Fortnite's haters that, however, had grown up with Minecraft, and now had grown older and thought that their game was superior. This is a separate debate entirely, and I'm not going to get into it. But this mentality of Fortnite bad, Minecraft good, became very popular with certain groups on Reddit, Instagram, and other social media sites. They also started to make memes about it. Memes are an extremely integral part of the internet. I could make a whole separate video on them, but this is about Minecraft memes specifically. All throughout 2018, and especially in the later months, Minecraft became a popular meme topic online. Most of these would be along the lines of, So glad I grew up doing this, and not this. Other memes would just bring back nostalgia of the good old days, and even though it had only been a few years since its death, uh, many had left Minecraft before that in many years. So it had been a while since they had played Minecraft, and we're now seeing it for possibly the first time in years. Almost everyone who had stopped playing it had a newfound interest in the game and some nostalgia that would only grow as time went on, whether it was watching old videos or even listening to the same old music by C418 that plays over and over when you play Minecraft. Many started along for the game. Pinpointing the exact event that triggered the recent popularity of Minecraft is, well, impossible. Because it was not one event. It was a series of events that led it to becoming what it is today. Some would even say that it never died, just lost popularity on YouTube and with people in general. The fan base and player count barely decreased by much, and if anything, it grew, but it certainly wasn't as popular as it used to be. However, that would change soon. At some point in early 2019, some YouTubers, many not even Minecraft YouTubers, made videos along the lines of Minecraft in 2019, poking fun at the idea that the game wasn't as popular as it used to be. But some of these videos left players and viewers with a bit of nostalgia. Soon after, towards the beginning of May, people started anticipating a very special day for Minecraft its 10-year anniversary. Many planned to celebrate the birthday of one of, if not their favorite, childhood game. But many other factors were at play. Minecraft had released a special 10-year anniversary map for all players to enjoy for free, and this inherently led many players to log into the game, some for the first time in years. This map showed the history of the game and some of its greatest achievements, all the while being massive and incredibly well done. Another large component was the SMP Live Minecraft server. That was just a normal survival Minecraft server, but with the requirement that whenever you play on it, everything must be live streamed. So the audience saw everything. Every mine, every farm, every death, everything and anything that happened. Nothing was cut, nothing was done off camera. And it had started with some big name streamers and YouTubers, and would only grow from there. So you yourself, yes you, likely saw some of this gameplay, and this showed many people raw Minecraft gameplay, and some, along with all of the new features, older players had probably never experienced, as the updates were fairly new. Mainly the 1.13 update Aquatic and 1.14 Village and Pillage update, both of which were massive in size, undering, adding hundreds of new hours of content and experiences. Unlike some of the updates before it, these were extremely well received by the community, and many players were brought back to the game. The time was also right for people who were feeling nostalgic and booting up the game, only to see what they had been missing. All this was added to the fact that Fortnite 
Yes, Fortnite seemed to be dying. A large number of Fortnite players thought that the most recent updates had ruined the game, and it just wasn't as good as it used to be. All of these factors led to a flip in trends, where Fortnite was unpopular and Minecraft was popular once again. Many YouTubers left Fortnite to make Minecraft videos, and many Minecraft YouTubers became po popular once again. Most recently, a certain Minecraft parody video by Captain Sparkles has become quite popular. You know, the Discord meme, you know, where someone says, Creeper, and another person says, Aw man, and so we back in the mine. You know what, you've heard the meme, everybody has. It's been so popular on YouTube the past few weeks. Probably not as popular anymore, and it's kind of died off, but, you know, the Captain Sparkle song Revenge has just become super popular. Which is weird, because the song is almost eight years old by now, and it's kind of an interesting thing, and, you know, Captain Sparkles himself is just as confused as the rest of us are for why it's so popular, but it is just one of the most oldest and most popular Minecraft parodies out there. But probably the biggest reason for Minecraft's recent popularity is PewDiePie and his Minecraft survival series. So if you don't already know, in early July of 2019, PewDiePie pl uploaded a video of him playing Minecraft for the first time in pretty much forever, as he had never really made it a series on his channel previously. His first video on his channel is Minecraft, but that's pretty much the only one up until then. For the first time in pretty much forever, like I said, you know, he hadn't really done much with the game. He had originally just planned to do this for like an episode or two, just as kind of like a one-off haha playing Minecraft thing, because it was popular. But, you know, soon these videos gained millions of views, and himself and his viewers were hooked. You know, and then he would go on to make episode after episode. Eventually, the videos would start to have like a storyline with, you know, returning characters. You probably know if you've seen the series. Sven, Jurgen, Water Sheep, all of them. And this led millions more to see Minecraft once again. And a lot of people wanted to play it, try, to, try these things out for themselves. All of these factors that I've listed above lead us to where we are today. Minecraft is finally popular again. I mean, feels good, right? And from there, it only continues. Will this high of Minecraft nostalgia last for a few more months? Or will it be dead next week? I'm not sure how long. I don't think anybody does. But even if this new trend of Minecraft dies out, it has certainly made its mark on internet history. Alright, thanks for watching. Like I said at the beginning, I had wanted to make a Minecraft video for some time now, but I didn't just want to do another Let's Play video like everyone else, you know. Th this is the project I mentioned I was working on last video, in case you're wondering. But yeah, Minecraft has been an important part of my life, and probably yours too. I, you know, I remember playing it when I was younger, and eventually it just became unpopular and I stopped playing. But now it's new found popularity, I've been playing Minecraft quite a bit lately, and enjoying all the features, new and old. It kind of makes me regret that I stopped playing it in the first place, but, you know, I, I'm glad that I'm playing it now, as I truly believe it is a good game. And just playing it has made me realize that, and I truly believe that it will go down as one of the greatest games. You know, I, like if you know if that doesn't convince you, it's now the best-selling game of all time, out of any game, you know, beating out Tetris. And I mean, Tetris, they had like, that that includes like the 30 games they had. They had a lot of games. Now, a lot of people called like the old, you know, the, the golden age of Minecraft, but people are now calling this the diamond age, you know, because gold is not as good as diamond in Minecraft. It's, it's kind of a stupid joke, but I, I think it's a good name for what to call this period, this newfound popularity as a diamond age. I think that's just what it is. And I don't know how much longer it'll last. But I do plan to enjoy it while it does. And I'm sure that even when I grow older, I may pick up this game from time to time just to look back on the good old days. I hope this video was enjoyable for you in some way. And I hope you have a great day. I've been Iris Smart, and you have been the viewer. So thank you, and goodbye.